guys welcome to the video now in this video i'll be i'll be breaking five devops myth and misconception which people talk about in the market and which which people try to sell their courses using uh, on on the top of this five devops myths i'll breaking them now uh, one of the first devops myth is no coding required we we, have, we hear people say that there, there is no coding required for devops but i think some of some sort of knowledge of this uh, some sort of for some sort of knowledge of python golang or scripting is needed not a deep level you don't need to be a software developer but basing coding and scripting like python bash or yaml helps a lot you need it for automation ci cd pipelines and managing infrastructure i would say not as a software developer but i would i would require you to have little bit of knowledge on coding side to debug application level issues yeah and the second devops myth is devops is just a set of set of tools you learn this tool you will become a devops engineer so i hear more often like people people they they tend to learn some of the tools of listed here and try to become devops engineer they might become as devops engineer but uh, but devops devops is more than just tools of tools uh, so it is related to automation and making software development faster and smoother tools help but they are not the main focus the real real the, the real goal is to improve how developers and operations team work together so learning these tools i i, I think learning is very tough these tools such as kubernetes and all it would require a immense immense hours of hours of yours to learn these tools but learning tools will not help with the devops role and next myth is like people tend to focus on boot camps or zero to hero kind of videos i would suggest like focus on zero zero to hero and boot camps as well but try to learn fundamentals first like people they skip fundamentals and try to learn zero to hero and then try to become devops engineers i i don't say that it it won't make you devops engineer but it won't make you a good devops engineer like in real time you will have a tough time while debugging the issues like if you if you know fundamentals it would be easier for you some boot camps claim to take take you from zero to hero but real real learning takes time uh, instead of instead of rushing focusing on understanding basics like networking linux cloud cloud computing strong fundamental will help you grow faster you will be able to debug uh, debug the difficult difficult scenarios also if you have if you have strong fundamental knowledge and next is uh, no shortcuts you need to do real time projects yeah real time projects you need to do they some people like i said said right so they tend to focus on zero to hero and try to do try to follow the complete playlist or something and try to try to try to try to understand try to get the project from there and try to do it but but i would say like end to end project they, they end to end project they will not do i would suggest them to do end to end projects real time projects project level project level uh, like industry level projects you need to do like setting up ci cd pipeline or deploying app using docker and kubernetes or automating tasks with ansible and terraform and hands on experience is the best way to learn so i would like you to do hands on experience whenever you do anything so no shortcuts like learning some tools will not help you but doing real time projects will help you it will be it will make you a good devops engineer and next last thing is devops is tough migration to devops is impossible i heard people say that devops is very tough and migration to devops is very impossible because there are, there are numerous tools to learn but i would say like switching to devops devops may feel difficult at first but it is it is it is very it is very possible many people from it support system administration or qa have successfully moved to devops devops team devops team like i've been i've been i've been also from the uh, non non it background i started my career as a trainer then i later become dev later i um, moved into devops i i directly didn't move to devops i moved to cloud and then later moved on moved and moved into devops like so i i would i have created road map uh, road map so you can find road map road map video at the top you can follow the road map as well like you can start with linux um linux and basic scripting and then later move move into 
cloud cloud platform any of the cloud platform azure aws and then then you understand ci cd and automation and with consistent learning anyone can become a devops engineer yeah so it is it is not easy i say but it is it is very tough i also agree with it is it, it is tough but with consistency it it, it can make me, it can be made easy so it is it, it is possible to migrate to devops so that's all i wanted to discuss in this video these are the five myths which people talk on internet and on youtube like they say devops is easy and code, no coding required for devops as i said coding is required coding is required for you to understand yaml scripting basic yaml scripting and also bash scripting like we automate so many things related to bash and all right so coding is required for that so and python also it is required python or golang is required i would say not deep level but a basic level of understanding of how how loop works or what is variable that that kind of understanding you need in python or golang yeah so coding uh, one of one of say, these are the myths which uh, which i wanted to discuss and i i discuss around it so no coding required devops is just a tool just a set of tools learning these tools will make your devops engineer and i tend to see people focus more on boot camps and zero to hero playlist and they miss learning fundamentals and fundamentals is the key key like networking and all it's it is a key key to understand the major concepts in devops and i want people to do real time projects like try to build try to build an application by yourself and try to deploy it on servers and then later try to write a docker file for that and try to deploy it using docker do, using docker and try to try to try to try, try to do the try to get the docker image and try to deploy in kubernetes and then later try to try to make a ci cd for that yeah so this is the overall so you will get many free projects in github like you will find it many projects in github you can get many free projects you can get it so you so try to deploy it by yourself rather than following any documentation or any video try to try to get a project and try to deploy and try to create docker file for that and try to deploy by yourself that would be a good real time project for you and anybody can migrate to devops so that that's not very impossible it is possible so yeah if anybody wants to migrate they should have a determination to learn learn and learn and learn with consistent con con consistency they should be able to migrate to devops so that's all i want to discuss thank you for watching the video